All right, so before we can get started in earnest on NP1, there's a couple of things that we're gonna have to do to the code that you uh, finished up with for, for MP0. Um, so what I've got here, despite the name of this project, is actually an, a solution to MP0. Um, and before we get started, let me just go ahead and, and, and grade this uh, so I can confirm, and I would encourage you to do this as well. So you know, be careful whenever you're making changes like this to your project. Um, these changes are small. I'm gonna walk you through exactly what I want you to do, um, but they're also, um, you know, also quite important. Um, okay, so uh, so I'm going to grade this first just to make sure everything is still working the way I think. Um, again, I'm pretty sure that this is a correct solution to MB0, I hope. Um, and so this should get, you know, 90 points uh, minus the 10 point early deadline. Um, once I've done with this, I'm going to start um, the, the series of, of changes that, that I need to make. And in order to do that, I will go, I'm going to go grab my local copy of this. And I'll walk you through uh, what needs to happen here. Um, yeah, and, and again, you know, so this type of thing happens, right? As we go forward, we write more tests, we realize that there's a few things that aren't quite set up exactly the way, uh, the way that we need them to be set up. And so we'll just, we're just gonna make some, some small adjustments here. Um, all right, so, so here's, there's just a couple of things to do. Okay, so here I've confirmed that I'm still getting my 90 points uh, on the MP, that's good, okay. Um, and I don't think, let me try, I don't think I have any changes to commit. Okay, so, so my working directory is clean, is what we call it, nothing to commit. All right, now I've got to make two changes. The first change I need to make is to, is to main activity Java. So I'm going over here into my activities. And this one's pretty simple. All I need to do is I need to, I need to move this call, which is what retrieves the summary information that I'm going to display. I need to cut that and I need to put it down here below the this this chunk right here that that sets up the binding all right so that's the first thing you need to do uh, that's summarized right here so i need it just to take that chunk and move it below uh the the call here right it can be above this part it could also be below it it doesn't really matter uh but it just can't be above uh this sort of stanza of the opening uh the reason for this is that if this call to retrieve the information completes before we've, for, for we've set up our list adapter, we can have a null pointer exception. And that was happening in some of our test suites for MP1. Okay, so we made that change. That's the first one. Um, the next one is gonna be in uh, client.java. This one's a little bit more uh, complicated. So, well, actually it's not that bad. So what I'm gonna do is this line right here. In my code, this is line 102. Um, it might be a different line number for yours, but this is in the uh, private constructor where we're setting up this queue that's gonna be used for a network request. We need to replace this, and I'll just do this kind of from the from the from what we have online. So I'm gonna copy this uh, chunk of code, and I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna paste it. Uh, and I'll get rid of this one. Now, as soon as I do this, you see I have several different problems that I need to fix. One of them is quite straightforward. So uh, we need to create this constant uh, here, thread pool size. I'll put that up here below uh, my max startup retry is constant. Um, and then there's these two missing imports. Now the way to fix this, on um, uh, at least if you're using a Mac, there's probably a similar thing to do on Windows, is you go to the offending um, import. This is, these are just imports that we need to add. You could add these by hand. You can also just go to the offending import and hit control space, and it will pull up an option. In this case, there's only one option. Uh, that's correct, and then I need to go here to executors control that. In this case, I want the one from java.util.concurrent. If you'll if you'll see what happened, uh, what actually happened here is that this uh, import was added, so that's one of the ones that we needed to add, and the other import that was added was this one. So if you wanted to add these by hand, you, you could add those that way, but I would suggest that you just uh, do it using uh, control space. All right, so I add the executor delivery import from Volley. I add this uh, executor's import. Now, if I've done things properly, everything should still work. So let's run this again. I'm gonna rerun the grader, um, and I should still have 90 points, but I just wanna make sure of that, and I would, I would encourage you to double check this. Now, if you don't perform these steps properly, the grader for MP1 is not going to work properly and you're gonna be losing points, you're gonna be confused why. So please don't skip this step. Make sure that you've got this right 
commit this code. You know, you can even push this again to MB0 if you want to. It's not going to affect your overall grade. Um, but let's just go ahead and get this done. Make sure that you still have as many points as you used to have on MP0. This should not change your MP0 score. Um, oh, it looks like there's a check style problem. Oh, it probably wants me to... Well, what is the check style problem? Oh, it's a line length issue, I suspect. Uh, yeah, it's mad about this. Okay, that's pretty straightforward to fix. I'll just break this across uh, two lines, rerun the grader. Um, Android Studio does have some pretty nice keyboard shortcuts. I've set up mine uh, to use this sort of uh, standard set of ones that are provided, provided by other IntelliJ projects. One of the nice features for that is when you hit Control R, it actually will rerun the last task that you ran. So in this case, I ran grade just a minute ago, made this small change to fix this check style problem. Now I'm going to rerun the grader and, um, and, and assume that I'm going to get this 90 points that I expect. Once we're done with that, uh, okay, so now I've got 90 points for MP0. I'm good. Okay, so I've, I've made these changes. Um, if I go up here and go to the commit dialog, uh, one of the things that you'll see is that you can see the two changes I made, right? In this case, I just moved some stuff around. Um, in this case, you'll see that I added these two imports. Um, and then I also added this new constant and I removed this request queue and replaced it with this new instantiation of the request queue. So that's all. I would encourage you, I'm not going to go ahead and actually commit, uh, complete the commit, but I would encourage you if you're using a, a real, um, a real, you know what, why not? I'll just go ahead and do it, it's fine. Uh, so I'm gonna, oh, oh, right, okay. So I'll say MP1 adjustments and I'll commit this and uh, yeah, that's fine, that's okay. Uh, and, and now I'm in good shape. Okay, so now that's basically brought me up to, um, to be ready to, to work on MP1. So in the next step, what we'll do is we'll actually get the MP1 test suite, we'll grab a piece of that, um, get it imported, uh, it, get it installed in our project, uh, which is gonna cause everything to immediately break because there's some dependencies that we need to work on. And then in the next video, what we'll do is we'll go through just building up some stub code so that your project actually compiles so that you can start to make forward progress and, and actually run the test suites.